Mabuhay or in Kapampangan, Luwid Kayu. June 3rd, 2016 marked the 445th anniversary of the Battle of Bangkusai. Bangkusai what? Yep, you probably have not heard about it so here are 5 things about this historic battle that you probably did not know. Number 1. First, a little bit of a background. By the year 1570, the Spanish forces led by Miguel López de Legazpi had effective control over the islands of Cebu, Panay, Mindoro, and other neighboring islands in the Visayas, what is now Central Philippines. And in the same year, they heard about the riches and the greatness of Luzon and immediately set their eyes for its conquest. And in 1571, the Muslim walled city of Manilad, now Manila in Luzon, had fallen to the Spanish conquistadors. The rulers of Manila back then made peace and submitted to the Spaniards. And they also expected the rest of the rulers of Luzon to do the same. But at number 2. Soon after the fall of Manila, thousands of warriors from the Kapampangan speaking Balayans, aka independent sovereign states of Makabebe and Hagonoy in what are now the provinces of Pampanga and Bulacan, gathered and met in Tondo, just across the river from Manila. They were led by a young leader from Makabebe and they were united with the goal of fending off foreign invaders and asserting their inalienable rights to freedom and independence. At number 3. This historic battle was and is indeed epic. It was the first time that Europeans had ever faced a massive naval force in the region, the region that we now call as East and Southeast Asia. This naval force consisted of at least 2,000 Kapampangan warriors all aboard 40 colossal Karakoas, aka the ancient warships of the Austronesian people. And they were armed with lantakas aka bronze cannons. Yes, our ancestors had firearms and they were good at it. And these were all prepared within just two weeks of the Spaniards arrival. By the standards of the 1500s, this is indeed quick and massive. The young captain or leader of Makabebe led his troops, his forces down the Indong Kapampangan River and fought the battle in the Bangkosai Channel off the port of Tondo. At number 4. This young leader of Makabebe has been called by many names. From confusing him to be the same person as Manila's own Raja Sulaiman, to calling him Tariq Sulaiman, and even a Spanish sounding nickname Bambalito. But all of these are either proven to be wrong or are lacking in strong evidence and valid sources. In fact, the Spanish records do not identify this valiant individual by name. And he was only described by the Spaniards as Un Valeroso Moro y Mas Valiente de aquella isla. Or in English, a valiant Moor and the bravest of the island. Yes, many of our ancestors were already Muslims by the time the Spaniards arrived. While we cannot know for sure what his name was, we do know that this heroic youth from Macabebe led a massive naval force, which makes him a Laksamana, aka an admiral. A young admiral who sacrificed his own life for the glory of his land and the freedom of his people. And right before the epic battle when the Spaniards tried to lure him into friendship and submission, he was quoted saying this to their faces. May the sun strike me in twain and may I fall in disgrace before the women, if I ever became for a moment a friend to these Castilians. After which he literally jumped off the building, possibly a palace, and marched on to his Karakoa, his warship, while being loudly cheered by his warriors, his people. The Spaniards were literally starstruck. And at number 5, a fierce battle ensued. And in the end, the native Karakoas or warships were lured into a deceptive technique that eventually led to their defeat. The unnamed young leader of Makabebe took a bullet and died on the spot while fighting on the shores of Bangkusai. He laid down his life for a cause that he believed was worth fighting for, for the freedom of his people and their right to live and enjoy their own way of life. The lessons of this epic battle goes beyond victory and defeat. This epic battle is a testament to our civilized roots, reminding us that our ancestors were not weak savages. As what has been taught to us for centuries, for generations, since the colonial miseducation of our people. And it teaches us that the youth could be a batubalani, a magnet, a binder that could bring the community together for a common cause. Just like what the brave young leader of Makabebe did for his people, the people of Luzon against foreign invaders. The brave youth of Makabebe had left us, the younger generation of today and days to come, with a heroic example of selflessly fighting for freedom and standing up for our people. To learn more about the brave youth of Makabebe and the Battle of Bangkusai, check out the links in the video description below. And I guess that is it for me today. Until next time, bye!